Hey, so we're gonna talk about a really fun topic, which is nipples. Um, something I didn't really know, well, I knew my body would be changing through pregnancy, but I didn't realize that my nipples would feel like someone was stabbing them and trying to cut them off all the time. Um, especially in winter, I think. The cold, as soon as I go outside, the cold is just bitter. And it just, I can be outside for two minutes and it, my nipples will be so painful. So it's almost like forget running in winter because, or running outside, because it's just astronomically painful. But that's because there's an excess of estrogen and progesterone, progesterone, progesterone progesterone uh, running all around your system and it's just the overdose of hormones can cause the boobs to be really painful and especially the nipple area um, and they're going through so many changes like the nipples getting bigger and there's little spots around the nipple the Montgomery tubercles are getting like more pronounced and which is, I found out that they were sweat glands there for like lubricating the nipple, which is really kind of gross, but stops them cracking. Um, it's my old flag. Hey. Um, so I started like trying to find ways to ease the pain. Um, and if you're going through pregnancy through winter, you'll find quite possibly your nipples are going to be painful. So what I've started doing, which really helps uh, hand warmers like I just ordered a load off Amazon and they're just so helpful you just pop the little little bugger and well and first of all you need to wear an, a non underwire bra like a cotton or merino wool if it's cold and you're having sensitive nipo, nipples nipples um, but an under, a non underwire bra, because that can cause your breast tissue to form incorrectly and stop all the fatty, um, the good fatty tissues forming correctly. Um, and obviously it, it could influence milk production badly. So no underwire in your bra, um, a nice cotton or merino wool would be great. And I've been running around in sports bras sort of lividly for the past couple of, well, for the past three weeks, I'd say. Um, and the best combination that I've found is putting plasters over the nipples so that they don't rub on anything. It's nice big plasters over the nipples. And then putting like a little hand warmer in there. And you can make like a little cute cover if you want, if you want to make it fluffy and soft. Um, or just a bit of material or anything, but the plaster should protect, like be a protective barrier between this and the nipple. And then putting that in under your sports bra, just placing that in. Um, and then that really, really helps in, if you're going running, your nipples tend to be a bit warmer. Obviously there's like, these things last about 10 minutes, 10, well, about 15 minutes, so you have to have a few of them if you're going to be out for a while. But they're really great things to have in your handbag if you go outside and your nipples start feeling like someone's trying to saw them off. Because they're painful. Um, also, get nipple cream. Like nipple, nice baby nipple cream to keep them nice and supple because apparently they can crack. But I tend to use bio oil every night and we will start doing it in the morning as well when it gets a bit later but just rubbing them all over with bio oil so you don't get any stretch marks and on your tummy um which has always been a great combination that's pretty much what i've got on nipples they're gonna be really painful apparently after the first trimester they ease up on the pain but if you're going through pregnancy through winter especially like first second trimester they're painful the hand warmers, they're great. Little <laughs> oh, googly eyes. Little <laughs> Like my nipples have eyes. 
Look down. Look down. Ooh, ooh. Close side. <laughs> okay. So quick recap. Okay, so quick recap. One, wear a good fitting cotton bra with no underwire. And then number two, use nipple cream. I think that's more of like a later on in the pregnancy. Number three, use bio oil twice a day and massage your boobs because that will help circulation and help them just to develop nicely. And number four, if you're going outside and running any exercise outside in the cold, put plaster on and maybe another piece of material if this is a bit too hot, hand warmers and a nice sports bra or bra that is gonna help support them. Um, good luck with your nipples. <laughs>